This is really important just to preface anything in the video that people like Rapbeard or like designers and stuff like that don't really have much of a say in this. It's mostly a custom customer service type thing um, because that's ultimately who issues who's, who issues those mutes, who works on you know harassment and like all those type of things that go on and like the process of like trying to uh, find out who's toxic and who's not in Wizard 101, right? and and who deserves to have who deserves to have that privilege of talking to others that's that's entirely a customer service thing yo what's up guys it's alaska back with another commentary video and also more of like a news video and today's video is not going to be positive you know you guys have seen if you guys have seen my previous video about rochambeau you guys know i'm more of a positive person i like to look at the bright side um i do like to like look at some of the things that's happened for wiz recently and actually you know find the positivity in it but uh, i'm just gonna be frank here um uh, the update that was released today on January 19th of 2022 was one of the worst updates to ever reach Wizard 101. There's several big reasons why, but let me first elaborate on what's the main changes. So, while there was some amazing bug fixes that helped fix the game a little bit more and helped, like, you know, get rid of some Jade issues and, like, help get rid of exploits, um, there's a big problem, and uh, it looks like Rank PvP has now been blocked for anyone who wants to, um, to do it while being muted. So if you have a, you know, a mute against your account that's currently active, so let's say you have a permanent mute or a one day mute, two mute, two day mute, whatever, you cannot queue in ranked PvP, practice PvP, or tournaments. Now I don't think, I don't see this as being talked about. You can't queue for any PvP mode besides Beast Moon, which is incredible because I think in the current atmosphere, there's already a limited amount of people PvPing, let's be real, right? So, if you look at 1v1s, this is not a high amount of matches, you know? Because you consider it, right? And realize the fact that this is what? Let's see. 8, 16, 24, 24, and then 26. So 26 wizards are PvPing right now, right? And I mean, this is not like an inactive time during the day. I would say it's like in the middle. So at one time you may expect between 15 or sorry it would be 16 and 30 wizards fighting or, or like fighting in a PvP match, right? And I would say at least 30% of those players or maybe more like 20% are most are muted or have been muted recently in some way. And a lot of the time it's not because of toxicity. There is those bad people that, you know, get muted because they actually deserve it. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who can tell stories of like how they actually did say something they regret and like have been muted because of it. But um a lot of people's stuff boils down to stuff like, you know, silly jokes like let's have hex or like whatever. Or like, you know, the things people say to friends like as a joke. You know what I mean? Of course there should be some sort of punishment for it. But again, it should be under a sort of like classification that you can't get muted for it. For example, if I report somebody right now, let's say I report Polymorph Bandit, right? I report him, and I say he was harassing me in PvP, right? That should be filed under harassment, and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be allowed to queue for an amount of time. But if I say, for example, if I report someone around me that just said like I'm gonna like let's have hex or whatever, like you're like you know have, like e dating or some weird shit, right? and whiz and say in the comments like sure but i don't understand how that could possibly you know how does taking the tos of stuff that's happened in pvp or even outside of pvp and making it apply to it regardless you know so let's say for example if you get banned for something else you've, you've dealt with another thing that leads to a mute um, like for example, the people who deal who dealt with false reports back in like 2016, 2017, even like 2018, that was still a thing. Like people who dealt with those false reports, like there's clips out there of people, literal streamers, getting muted for nothing. And um, like it's such a common thing. And I just want to say, like, I feel like there should be a huge classification and a big difference between. People that are muted for the sake of harassment or pure like toxicity and the people that are harassed for Doing things like saying like silly jokes or like making jokes that you know, obviously are inappropriate, right? And I think there should be a huge classification between that. So that's my first point My second point is that PvP's player base is already running thin, right? 
like I said, we're on thirty. For, we're on what thirty players or so, like on like a decently active time during the day. Is, is each match consecutively, um, like like at once? I mean, not consecutively. Like at, at once, there may be like thirty at most between thirty and forty people PVPing during a day, like at one time. And let's be real, right? That's really not that high, you know? I feel like there should be a lot more, like, people PvPing, especially because there's so many levels people could be PvPing at. So you end up seeing a bunch of duplicates and Wiz, and a lot of the highest rank wizards are also from PvP and Toxicity itself, and being involved in that kind of atmosphere. Some of the OGs, like Stefan Fire, for example, one of the OGs of, of Fire PvP and just PvP in general with thousands of matches, has been muted for um, doing something, like, it's not even you know actually mutable and, and has tried to appeal it and looks like a lot of the time they don't really agree to it so <clears throat> uh that's the story you could personally ask him but uh, yeah again I, I literally don't understand what the point of this was because i feel like if support was active enough to be able to capitalize on on stuff like that and make these kind of precedents then like these people wouldn't be pvping in the first place like it would be an extreme case Support case should support support should be able to give issue somebody a mute and a PvP ban, not uh, not a, a mute auto PvP ban. No, it should be okay. This person told someone to go like I don't know, kill themselves or something, right? In PvP, like oh, go kill yourself. You you salamander spam, blah, blah blah, whatever. Sure, yeah, go PvP ban them, bro. Nobody should say that to someone else. But if they got perma muted over something that was entirely uninvolved with toxicity or anything. Why should they be banned from doing one of the best parts of Wizard 101, which is getting your character to max, maxing out your stats, finally feeling like they can measure up to other wizards, and actually be able to do something? Because all I've heard is that this is more of a reason for those who are dedicated to the game, even past a mute, to keep playing. And finally, my last reason as to why this could ruin the game is because menu chat and talkers are such a common thing nowadays. I literally know so many people who PvP and have talkers just to be toxic. I'm not going to name names, but again, I know of people that do that. And I mean, you know, it's going to become a common thing. And I've heard people even claiming they will mute their main account so they intentionally can't type anything just to make sure. And then they will use their talker or use menu chat to do that, you know? So there's people who are, you know, for example, racist using certain menu chat things like you guys, I don't know if you guys know about the Krakatopia stuff. Like you can say really racist Krakatopia stuff. I know James E.A. dealt with that. It's just you can do so many things that are already racist symbols, right? And I feel like if support was so dedicated to acting on those types of things and stopping them from happening, they would have happened by now instead of an umbrella thing that just says, oh, well, you know what? If you're muted, I really don't think you know you should be able to pvp which is complete bs because a lot of the time the social interaction of it doesn't even happen i don't talk to half the people i, I win or lose against in pvp it's a very rare case where i'll run into someone who will get who will be very talkative or very toxic and at that point I don't even report them because i mean me personally you know i don't get offended by that kind of stuff i'm, I'm like you know it's was one one i try not to like be worried about people telling me oh you're bad bro you don't have to pvp blah blah whatever like it just doesn't bother me but like, I feel like there's people that de deserve to report others for that and, and for toxic misconduct and stuff. So I just feel like if there's if there's such a strong support team that can act on these things and make such make such good you know precedents to stop people from being toxic, then why would they do such an umbrella action that really just changes the entire course of the social ability of this game and the PvP community in general? Because right now, this has the PvP community split, and I'm really worried about it breaking, you know, the entire core of PvP and, and what, you know, people have been competitive over is, is the ability to, you know, talk to others, talk, strategize and stuff, and, like, be able to, like, meet new people in the PvP community. It's becoming less like a community because of the less social ability because of it. Besides that, I do want to address the one good thing I've heard about the support team from Rapper himself. And this this thing is, I'll, I'll roll a clip real quick, but I was in his stream earlier, 9 a.m. And, or like 9.30 or 9.50, whatever, I don't remember when it was. Um, and he was talking about how everything that is directed towards him is partly his, like partly him, like in that he can, 
you know, have some sort of say in it. But most of it is a support team issue, right? Because you got, you guys gotta understand, there's a huge division between, you know, marketing, uh, game design, um, art, you know, all that direction. Those are all separate parts of the KI like team. So, in this current situation, you have to understand why people like Rapier shouldn't be getting all of the flack for stuff like this. We should be trying to get this to customer support, who realistically should be able to see this video because you know they're part of keeping players happy right and so i think the biggest thing is making sure that this gets to them and they actually get to hear this because rapbeard has no say in it or at least not as much as we think so here i'll load the clip agreed we've seen cases of this happening and unfortunately it could get to a point where this issue is more than support can handle for an amount of time there it, the the system uh is resistant to that the system is used to that there must be a human being uh, issuing this mute in order for it to work. So, you're not the only person who said that. I had at least one other person to say that. He said, shouldn't it be 305? <laughs> so, uh, lost grip, but here's the issue. I think there's a lot of people who have been unfairly muted in the first place. That could be an actual case of the false report issues has become a commonality. But false report will not get you a long, a, a long mute. Right. You'll have to have a very active support team in order to keep this precedent. This is true. This is true. I don't think people are muted for saying silly things like let's have hex or friendly whiz that is not my call but you know what you're not supposed to be doing but that really is a you problem i'm not i'm not setting the terms um, all right there needs to be mute classifications there are and that's a customer support issue so they hand out they hand out mutes of varying lengths and various behavior okay so now that you got done watching that clip, now you kind of know, like, you know, that it, at least there's no sort of false report or auto ban that can happen anymore, or at least as we know of, as of right now, there shouldn't be. But, of course, there's still reason to be scared of that becoming a thing or people finding a loophole, because you got to step ahead and be ready for the, for the people that actually want to be toxic and step ahead of what they're going to do. And do it in a in, in a passive and smart way instead of just banning them. You know, just, just permanently banning them from PvP. One of the greatest end game things in the in, in Wiz, right? That's just my two cents. Um, I really don't think this could be a great conclusion or or even direction for Wiz One One to go in. I'm currently dealing with, um, you know, trying to get this out there as much as I can because I feel like if this isn't adjusted, it could be one of the worst PvP changes in history of Wiz One One. And I just really don't want to see KI go down this route of of having all these great changes that people are finally accessible to and seeing a positive future for Fifth Age and having people straight up be, be banned from PvP over what may not even be actual PvP problems or, or, or um, issues that, that may have caused their mute. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please, uh, please, please support and try to get this video out there as much as you can. I would highly recommend you leave some of your personal stories about mutes and stuff in the comments just to kind of give um, more reinforcement as to what I'm saying because I know you guys out there have probably dealt with some crazy shit involving that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please, again, try to get this out there. Try to send this to as many people as you can. So um, Try to get this any KI dev you can, um, especially ones in the, in the community type deal. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, and yeah, let's let's try to make this uh, let's try to make this a change. Peace out, guys. Bye.